Hi, this is a, a very quick, brief, basic introduction to Blender 2.79. It's not the most recent version of Blender, but if, it, if you want to use it for a game engine, the game engine feature, then uh, you might want to use it. So this is the opening default screen. This is the default layout, and there's, there's a lot going on, a few windows, and uh, might be a bit confusing. It took me a while to really understand what was going on, and uh, this is how, how it's set up, basically. It's set up around resizing windows in one huge window and all of these areas here in actual fact can be the same window and the way to define that is to find this button here on each one and change it so that button on any window turn it into the same type of window. These are called headers. Headers. The header bar. And so currently this one's set at info. And it can be expanded. So if I move that to uh, 3D view it becomes a 3D view. So I put it back, it's info, move it up there, and it's the same for these. You can stretch them around, resize them, and each one can be turned into any of those views. Now, the other uh, confusing thing can be that button sometimes drops to the bottom. It's either at the top or the bottom, depending on the, the type of window you pick. So, currently this is the default layout, which I think is a, a pretty good selection in layout. This is the outliner, listing all of your files and items, and this is the properties uh, window that contains most of the sort of the important um, adjustable things in the scene. And that one there was one of the dialogues for adjusting things called the tool shelf. So that's the tool shelf. Bring it out like that contains things for creating items, adjusting them, and on this side, another one. This one links more to individual items once they're in your scene. So, and this is on the 3D view. So the 3D, 3D view, the main view, has those setting menus there. Okay, so this has already been uh, split in half, which you might not want to do, so you can get rid of that by joining it. So go right on the, the uh, junction point, right click, join. And the arrow tells you which one's going to take priority. So click there, and it makes it full screen. And then if you want to split that up, you use that, um, that thing in the corner. You do that, do that, bring it across. You can keep doing it. So I didn't want that one, so I'll join it. 
do it that way. Another one here. And you can just keep going. Bring that there. And that one actually has locked it. And then what you can do is uh, change that to uh, a certain orthographic isometric projection like that. Um, I think that's the general uh, gist of the, the layout really. Of course, the software goes into far more details with uh, shortcuts and other menus down here that let you adjust things in the scene and the preferences, which can let you adjust all of the, the keys and include things like add ons. Plenty of things in here like special uh, add, -on, add on scripts that add multiple features and they just need to be enabled. Like making trees or that kind of thing. 